I want to show you how to use a garter tab to start a neck down shawl. Here's a miniature example. And of course, it was actually knit in this direction. The shaping is garter edge, increase one, work across, double increase, work across, increase one, garter edge. So that's how you get that shape. And how do we get that from this. Start by casting on whatever the width is for your garter border. I've done three stitches because that's fairly common and I used the backward loop E cast on here. Don't even bother to get fancy. It's only three stitches. You can unpick it. Just grab waist yarn, cast on whatever you like. You'll unpick it later. I then worked back and forth for six rows, so three ridges, and at the beginning of wrong side rows I have trapped the turn on a vertical lifeline so I can find those ridges later. So I am now ready to turn this little tab into the beginning of a shawl. And here's how I do it. This would be right side row 7. So I start by working across my garter border, 1, 2, and 3. And instead of flipping the work to knit back, I rotate the work 90 degrees. And now I'm going to pick up on this edge. And I could knit up straight off the vertical lifeline, but Okay, I can also park it on a needle. And now I can just knit it right off a needle, like I would any other stitches. So, one, two, three. And if I really wanted to get fancy here, I could work this instead as the first shaping row. So I could actually work this as, as as yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, but I'm keeping it simple here. And now I turn again, rotate 90 degrees again, rather than flipping the work. And if you know anything about knitting, you know if I did three stitches going this way, then I only have two stitches going this way, but I need to pick up three. Here's how I will do that. When I flip it over, you can see I have two two bumps here that I can get into like so. So this first one in particular I could knit into the front and back or I could knit it and purl it and then do the second one and that would give me three. Or I can do the little trick I've done here where I came at it with a crochet hook this way and I got up under that that bump and pulled the tail through and then the tail would be woven in, woven in across here later. So that gives me three bumps. So let's see if I can knit those up. So there's one. And two. and three. Okay. And now the next row would be, you'd turn, the next row would be knit three, purl three, because this typically ends up being a stockinette based lace, and knit three, and later on I would go back and unpick this. And that is how you start a top down, a neck down shawl using a garter tab.